Hi everyone, and welcome to this video where I'll show you how to create a frequency table and chart using the frequency function. In our example, we have the heights of a sample of people and want to group them into the buckets in column E. To do this, we'll use the frequency function, which requires the data array, which is in column C, as well as the bins array, which we'll come to shortly. Currently, our intervals are shown in a format that Excel can't understand. To overcome this, let's simply type the upper bound that corresponds to each interval. Formatting the height intervals in this way will enable us to use the frequency function. The frequency function will calculate how often values occur within a range of values. This function is an array function, which means that instead of simply applying it to one cell, we'll firstly have to select all the cells we want to apply it to, and then type the entry. Therefore we start by selecting all the cells, we then type equals frequency, First we select the data array, which is in column C, followed by the bins array, which corresponds to the upper bounds that we created earlier. And since this is an array function, we're going to click Control Shift Enter instead of just Enter. This has automatically retrieved the frequency for each interval. Therefore, two people have a height between 155 and 160 centimetres, one person has a height between 160 and 165, and so on. If we were to change one of the heights like this, you can see that the frequency table will update automatically. Next, let's depict this frequency table in a chart. To do this, we'll select the height intervals, hold down the control key, and then select the frequency column. We'll then go into the insert tab and insert a 2D column chart. Next, go into quick layout and select this option here to reduce the spacing between our bars. We can also add axis titles and remove the chart title. Now a few final edits. Let's firstly add a border by selecting the bars, right clicking and clicking format data series. We'll then click on border, click solid line, we'll use a black line and we'll change the width to five. This nicely shows how the frequencies are distributed. As you can see, most people have a height between 180 and 185. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.